back in Madison Square Garden getting set for the Rangers and Buffalo Sabres. Thursday night hockey is presented by Ram. Post captioning tonight is brought to you by the New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. And we check out our Audi goaltender matchup. Back in goal for the second consecutive home game. It's Henrik Lundqvist. I thought he played well in the game against Montreal coming back, Joe. Yeah, I agree. And Benoit Lair, the goaltending coach, told us this morning that the last four days in practices have been good. He likes what he's seen. He's staying with the basics. He feels good about where Lundqvist is uh, coming along, how he's coming along. And there's uh, an awful record for a great goaltender, Ryan Miller. Now, the thing that's hanging over Ryan Miller, and Al alluded to it, is a possible trade at any time this season. Well, it's probably going to happen. You know that. He's going to be an unrestricted free agent at the end of the season, and they're going through a rebuild, and he will have some value at some point in this season. Underway. The Rangers opening up with Derek Stepan centering Matt Zuccarello on the right, Chris Kreider on the left, with Ryan McDonough, Dan Girardi on defense. Dan Girardi playing his 500th NHL game. A nice milestone for him. Yeah, into the range undrafted zone. player that's right a big milestone a giveaway to ennis ennis with a back pass shot by christian Erhoff was blocked nice sliding block by Derek step on a tough skate save by ludquist another chance in front and the rangers a little scrambly in their own zone here sabers getting a couple of good chances Erhoff toward the net that block and that's knocked away from cody hodgson rangers come out Stefan is tied up along the boards by Matt Olson wearing the familiar number 26. Olson, Hodgson, and Tyler Ennis, the opening line for the Sabres, and they had a good shift. That's the line you have to stop. You can stop that line, and again, it's a low-scoring team, lowest-scoring team in the league, but that is their most dangerous line. And you mentioned, Joe, Buffalo trouble in the first period. They want to get off to a fast start. That puck batted away, played by Brad Richards. Richards on with Haglin and Pouliot. Haglin to Pouliot. Comes out, back to Haglin. He turns, and the shot deflected away. Did not get through. Rangers have Mark Stahl and Anton Strawman on defense. The captain of the Buffalo Sabres, Steve Ott, sends it in behind the play. Stahl is wrestling with Billy Leno. Buffalo zone offside whistled against the Sabres here. We're a minute 47 into the game. Now this is the pressure by Buffalo. The Rangers turned it over. That shot was blocked, and then this one Lundqvist picked up late. It was just a wrist, uh, just a wrist shot, but it went through a maze of players. Then the Rangers really scrambling as Tyler Ennis, who's crafty, had a chance in front. Eric Broussard on here. With Taylor Hyatt on the left wing, JT Miller on the right wing, Michael Delzato and John Moore on defense. Another good chance. Myers. Shot that went wide and a race for the puck, and JT Miller gets there before Henrik Kalinder. Kalinder able to ride him down. Miller lost the glove. Puck kept in by Broussard. Miller's got it in the corner. The pass for Broussard was tipped away by Myers and brought the other way. That shot stopped by Lundquist. The youngster, Gergenson, number 28, one of several rookies in the lineup for the Buffalo Sabres. They've got, they've got some young players that they're going with. He's just 19. A couple other 19-year-olds in the lineup. Their 18-year-old number one draft pick on defense is sitting this one out. Sadora. Yes. Played off the back of the net. They're all big, huh, Sam? Yes, I mean, they are. 6'3", 6'5", six, six, is the door off. Right. And the puck is covered by Lundquist as it deflected across the crease. And play stops. Over three minutes gone by, Elaine Vigneault would like to get something rolling here as the Rangers have uh, gone 3-3 three and three in their last six games. Well, they're, they're playing better defensively. He likes that. And it, it became a focus when they had those injuries. Nash, Callahan, of course, who was uh, seven to ten days away, right. skated with the team today, which is a good sign. Nash, we still don't know uh, about him. And it was sure nice to get Hagelin back in the lineup, which helped last game against the Islanders. 
Step on back on the ice with Kreider and Zuccarello. The officials talking over trying to decide where to have the face off. They went from one circle to the other. Now back to the original face off circle. Hodgson against Stepan. Stepan wins it back to Artie there to play it. Off the boards and out of the zone. And taken away by Zuccarello. Moves in with Kreider. Zuccarello goes deep around the net. And a save by Miller. Stepan couldn't lift it up on the rebound. Oh, great move around the net by Zuccarello. Back the other way. Kyle Redis stopped and Zuccarello turns it. Now Stepan moving in. Stepan against Erhoff. Saved by Miller. Big rebound was missed by Zuccarello and brought the other way by Erhoff. A smart play by Stepan. Didn't have much of anything, so he figured he just, I'll just throw it at the net. And meanwhile, whistle, so we'll have a face off in the neutral zone. But Zuccarello, and then Stepan has a chance. Save there, Stepan has a chance. Can't get it past the pad. Look at him stretch that leg. It's a little help, but he makes two pad saves, maybe a third as well. There's Ryan Miller. There's Myers, a young defenseman who has started off his career in fine style. And, hey, rookie of the year. Yeah, that's, and, that's pretty good. And then has tailed off a little bit. And I think there are some concerns about where he's at career-wise. Miller makes a save. And Pouliot's got the puck around the glass for Richards. Richards for Haglund. And the puck taken away by Marcus Polino, but he gave it away to Richards. Here's Haglund putting it through the crease. Down comes John Moore to play it. Myers picks him up. Haglund. Puts it in the crease. A shot by Pouliot was stopped by Miller. Now the Rangers getting some offense going as they crowd the net on Ryan Miller. Yeah, those are some pretty good chances. Ryan Miller's very good down low, though. If you get a chance, you've got to try and get the puck up high. Miller and Ristolainen are after the puck. There's a rookie defenseman from Finland. Number 55. Oh, what a save. Oh, man, Miller. Great save on Girardi, who moved in. Good setup by Broussard. Down comes Girardi. A Miller for Taylor Pyatt. Quick shot that's blocked away. Pyatt, one-time Buffalo Sabre, gets taken down on the play by Grigorenko. Mikhail Grigorenko, another of those 19-year-old centermen. First-round draft pick last year. Rangers have now had the last seven shots. It was 3-0 to start the game, and now 7-3 Rangers. Off the skate, Hyatt is going to the bench. Johan Larson, all out in center ice. Cody Brandon Mashinker and Cody McCormick square off. They both landed some big ones. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Yep. Almost, almost seems like maybe they knew each other from someplace. Now McCormick is heading right to the corner uh, he obviously and, and going to the locker room. Something's going on. Right at the top of the screen, Mashinger comes off the bench. And they weren't even, I mean, they were 40 feet or maybe 60 feet apart. And all they did was look at each other. I think you're right, Joe. There's got to be some history. We'll, we'll have must to be. scout that must out. Be. Five minutes each for fighting. McCormick and Mashin during 5.33. They lost some bad foul on the ice. They're skating five aside. The score of the game has been what Pugliot shot is deflected by Mark Pesic up into the netting and play stops. Now, Sam, I mentioned the, the Rangers with the last seven shots on goal. And, boy, they had some chances. Here's Broussard and the flip pass. And that saved by Miller on Dan Girardi who moved in. Here it is again. Miller didn't even see it. His head was still to the right, but his positioning and his stick down on the ice was able to make the save on Dan Girardi. Delzato couldn't get a shot off. Moore with a shot. That's a good face-off win by Brad Richards. Hagelin to Pouliot. Out to John Moore. 
boards to Delzato. He's tied up there, and two staff to try to clear. Pouliot did a good job to keep it in. Now Johan Larson sends out Drew Stafford. Stafford with Billy Leno. And a backhand is for the net, knocked away by Lundquist. Here's Richards coming out. 6.20 gone by in the first. Hagelin looking, slides it through just wide. John Moore streaking right down the middle. Nice idea by Hagelin. Now, Erhoff made a good defensive play. It looked like to me like Erhoff lifted his stick before he could redirect the pass. Lozano for Zuccarello. Long pass tipped ahead by Stepan. Stepan tied up, and the puck was given away. Here's Stepan with a chance and a save by Miller. As he had the stick down and was able to make the save, Kreider gets it back to Girardi with room. Saved by Miller, and he holds it. 6.53 gone by. Rangers have picked up their game the last five minutes. You gotta love those costumes. This man's not wearing any costume. Let's go to John Giannone between the benches. Brought to you by four. John. Yeah, orange tie is about as uh, uh, Halloween as I'll get, Sammy. You know, when this game started, not a lot of activity for the Rangers on the ice with the puck. Not a lot of intensity or activity on the bench either, but nine shots in six-plus minutes. We've seen more intensity from them as well. Some action and activity. We ask you to become interactive in the broadcast. Share your thoughts on Twitter. Use the hashtag NYR. We've got Anton Strawman, a real rock on the defense that has really buckled down in the last couple games. He'll be in studio. Also, share your thoughts with Ron Duguay as well. Thanks, John. We'll look forward to that. And now seven minutes into the game. Rangers had some good chances the last couple of minutes. Kreider plays it up the board. Girardi gets there. Now McDonough looking. Tries to get it to Stepan. He's tied up there with Kalinder. Backhander save. And Played off the boards by Zuccarello, who had another good shot on goal. Penalty upcoming. Tyler Myers took down Derek Stepan. Rangers get the first power play of the game. Rangers are getting all their chances from about five feet in front of the net. The coverage by Buffalo has not been good. The Rangers have been relentless on the forecheck, and this little stutter step move by Stepan right there forces Ty uh, Tyler Myers to take him down. And so there's the head coach, Ron Ralston of the Buffalo Sabres. He was telling us this morning how he's going to play these kids, hey, Sam, in important yeah. situations. To understand that he'll be criticized at times. Rangers' first power play of the game, and it's brought to you by Volkswagen. Here is Derek Broussard. Broussard, Pouliot, JT Miller, John Moore, and Michael Delzato. Miller's at the side of the net calling for the puck. Delzato's hard pass was tipped, comes through to Broussard. Now it goes to Moore. Quick shot, Delzato saved by Miller. Ryan Miller in goal, JT Miller in front of him. No relation, shot blocked by Marcus Foligno. Broussard, and the dragon in the shooting position, and got checked by Foligno. Broussard, side of the net, JT Miller. Looking, out to Delzato. Keep it in with a right skate. Here's Delzato moving. Now Broussard winds up. Big drive. He scores! Derek Broussard. It's a power play goal. Rangers lead one to nothing. He must have heard the fans yelling for him to shoot. They had great puck control, but they weren't shooting all that much. They moved it around. Passive penalty killing by Buffalo, and then there's the shot. In front of the net, JT Miller was there for the screen. And Ryan Miller, the goaltender, I don't think saw it. Uh, you can't underestimate the work that JT Miller did around right? the net. He won't get an assist on the play, but he's the big reason why the Rangers now lead this game 1-0. Rangers' fourth power play goal in the last four games. And let's go back to John between the benches. Yeah, Sam, I can tell you that Derek Broussard did not sell short the effort of J.T. Miller. When he saw the replay here on the Garden Vision gorgeous big screen, he gave J.T. Miller sitting right next to him a big hug. 
I'm Darren Port. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No assist, who but he gets a hug. Who can't use a hug every that's now a, and that's then? That's a new stat we're going to keep. Hugs. <laughs> Rangers now with the last 12 shots. And Lafayette able to move it to Brian Boyle. Boyle comes out of the corner, backhander went wide. The line here is Hyatt, Boyle, and Dorsett. Rangers capitalized, getting the power play opportunity. They were two for four on Long Island on the power play. A big factor in that win. And now they get the lead on the Sabres. Shot by Dorsett, stopped by Miller. Here's a chance for Dorsett, a save by Miller. And he covers up. Oh, Rangers getting opportunities. Miller with a big save. 54 years ago at the Garden, shot Plon for the first goalie mask in an NHL game. Tonight, after Rangers post-game coverage, get the full story on a special presentation of 50 years behind the mask, presented by Visa, followed by a day that changed the game. Jock Plon, tonight, after post-game coverage on MSG. That's a great show with a great story of the evolution of the mask and the guys that wore those early masks, which weren't all that good as no. far as protection goes. Hodgson with a drive. Save. Tough shot and a good save by Lundqvist. There's that shot. Hodgson said he put a shooting machine in his house this summer to try and improve his shots. And he said it's harder, it's quicker, and he showed it there. Hodgson's fast block went off the right leg of Girardi back the other way. Brad Richards. Haglund goes to the net. Richard stops and shoots the def def deflected wide. Played by Pouliot. There's Richard. Got blocked. And out of play it goes. 10.08 to go in this first period. Ron Ralston's team has really struggled in first period. You noted that at the top, Joe. They've been outscored, including tonight. 20 to 2. You know, when we asked him this morning, you know, the key to playing the Rangers, he said more than anything, he said our, our first periods have been terrible. And you know what? They got off to a good start the first minute and a half of this game at the first three shots and good scoring chances. Yeah. Haven't had a shot since 15 straight. They've scored. Oh, pardon first. me. They've had one. They've got yeah. they've got four now. They've scored first only one time in 15 games. Hodgson on that last wash of the shot. Step on with a pass to Zuccarello, hit the outside of the net on the backhand. This line is moving very well. Tonight, it's Zuccarello off to a real good start. Yeah, I thought he was good against the Islanders as well. Riders pass, tipped away. Buffalo, odd man rush try, Rangers get back. And even things up three on three, almost had a, an odd man rush. Billy Leno in deep, he's recently back in the lineup. It doesn't seem like Billy Leno's always out with injuries. Jordan. He got hurt the first game, Sam, cracked a rib after having hip surgery in the summer. Jeez. So now he's got, he's wearing some protection over that uh, injured rib, but he said he feels good, feels 100% again. But you're right, he's, he's had quite a few issues. There's one of those young defensemen we talked about that was Rasmus Ristolainen. There for the Rangers, as John Ginone mentioned, Anton Strahlman has been outstanding this season. He's been very, very consistent. Yep, he really has. And he'll be our special guest on the Delta Intermission Report following the first period. Johan Larson and Matt Zuccarello for the faceoff. Zuccarello is chased. And Stepan moves in. Rangers with a 1-0 lead. The power play goal by Derek Broussard. Rosado and KT Miller got assists on the goal at 8.23. Oh, he did get an assist. Yeah. Good. Deserved one. Broussard's second goal of the season. First power play goal. Caleb Hyatt battling Ristolainen. JT Miller went by Hyatt. Ristolainen gets there and drops it back. For Jamie McBain, um, Michigan State, excuse me, Wisconsin teammate. A high stick. Uh, they missed it. Uh oh. Ristolina got the stick up on, uh, on JT Miller. JT Miller. Jamie McBain played with Wisconsin with Derek Stepan and with Brian McDonough. Andrew was able to move it. Brian Boyle comes out. Oh, 
Linder is tied up there by Brandon Matchin for a one it. Gets the puck back to Girardi. Shot blocked. Takes down by Boyle. The Rangers' fourth line here is Boyle in the middle. Matchin for a Dorsey. To Linder. Veteran defenseman able to move it up. Ryan Flynn. Native. I mentioned all these Massachusetts guys, Kreider, Boyle, Brian Flynn of the Sabres, with happy faces for the Boston Red Sox winning the World Series. That pass centered by Hodgson was broken up. You are not included no. in that group. No, sir. In fact, Sorry. maybe a few tears. <laughs> Tears and a sour push. You did not have tears oh. of joy last night. Man. In comes John Moore. Gets taken down by Tyler Ennis. Rangers will get another power play. Belzato against Molson. Molson gains possession with a whistle blows and a hooking call on Tyler Ennis. Gives the Rangers their second power play of the game. They lead it 1-0 on the goal by Derek Broussard. Good news is that JT Miller is okay. Here's why it's good news. Watch the stick. Ow! <laughs> Ow, that hurt, didn't it? Right in the mouth. And then McDonough. Ow! That's Gergensons, the 19-year-old. And now the Rangers go on the power play as Tyler Ennis takes down John Moore. And this Rangers power play is brought to you by Volkswagen. Second Rangers power play. Richards and McDonough play the points. Zuccarello, Kreider, and Stepan up front. Zuccarello with the puck. Kreider in front of the goaltender. Ryan Miller. Zuccarello. Notice a very passive penalty killing unit. They did try to stay back. Nice pass shot by Richards. Deflected up into the netting. And if you're on the power play, you like that type of thing because if you move the puck quickly, and then the players without the puck are putting themselves in a position just as Zuccarello did there. That allows Richards to try and give him that hard pass for the deflection. See those numbers for the Rangers, 4 for 13 over the last four games as the power play is picked up. Coach Elaine Vigneault telling us before the game, very pleased with the way they've been moving the puck and shooting the puck. There's Richards shooting. Fire! Chance and Miller stopped it with a left pad. I was going to say, getting someone in front of the net like that. Zuccarello out to McDonough. His shot blocked on the way in. Broken stick by Brian Flynn of the Sabres. Puck cleared all the way down. Richards with a lead for Pouliot. Pouliot around the net. Erhoff, who's on defense. Done his pass intercepted by Cody McCormick. Able to clear it down. McDonough hustling back. On him with Gergensons. McCormick back on the ice and back playing after leaving the ice surface after his fight with Mashington. Steve Ott dropping it back. Tyler Myers fires it out. 35 seconds remaining. In the Rangers power play, 540 to go in the first. Delzato ahead, gets it back, and makes a nice move out of the zone. With some speed, he fanned on the shot as he was checked and taken down by Talinder. Back pass, clearing attempt stopped by John Moore. JT Miller is on here. Miller, who had an assist on the first power play, his first point of the season. Pushed ahead, Pouliot's got it. Now John Moore, looking. It was a pass that was deflected wide by Broussard. And the power play is over. Delzano hard into the corner. Rangers one for two on the power play. Tyler Myers tied up by Broussard. It was poked loose by J.T. Miller. Miller's got it here. Miller shoved down by Kalinder. Then shoved down again by Tyler Myers. Aglin moves in. Worked it loose. Good play. Stallman to stall. Saved by Miller. Stafford. Rangers with 17 shots on goal. Now 18. And the Sabres only five. A let's go Rangers chance up from the crowd. Yeah, their forecheck. The Rangers forecheck deep in the offensive zone has really been impressive. 
They've really gone after this young Sabres team, and the Sabres have had a difficult time making plays. Dorsett tied up with Ristolainen. Boyle swings it around the boards, and Stahl gets over. Mark Stahl playing in his 400th NHL game. Boyle in the corner, Ristolainen, the young defenseman on him. Continue to battle. Nice effort by Boyle to stay with it. Get some help as Haglin plays it back. Stallman couldn't control. Sabres come out. Tyler Ennis moves down. Ennis against Strollman. Good job by Strollman to stay with him. Good defensive play. Dorsett trying to move it. He was blocked there by McBain. Boyle takes over. Strollman bangs it off the boards and out of the zone. Back in, Tyler Ennis, quick shot, into the corner wide. Haglund fires it out. Back after it, Christian Erhoff. Missed by Mark Pesek. Pesek, a rookie defenseman, former first-round pick. Chipped it off the glass, and it crawled up and over the glass into the crowd. 3.14 to go. Rangers, good defensive play all around, including this one by Anton Strollman the perfect Cadillac trivia question. Which Rangers scored the most goals in game fight on Halloween? <laughs> All right. But we're taking answers. Anybody? Anybody throw a guess out there? <laughs> it wasn't that guy. I can tell you that. Um, Rod Gilbert. Brian Leach. <laughs> Mike Gardner. The great Mike Gardner Hall of Famer right wing. Who had some good years here with the New York Rangers. Yeah, he dressed up as a Hall of Famer <laughs> for about 17 years. Something like that, right? Uh, great guy. Great to have him here in the years he played here in New York. Great player and a great person. Right here, Rangers with a 1-0 lead. Just under three minutes to go in the first. McDonough wrists it wide. After it is Zuccarello. Boy, he's been around the net throughout the game. Puck went off the stick from Girardi all the way back. McDonough goes to get it. Billy Leno on him. Girardi gets away from Steve Ott. Zuccarello with a hard pass. That becomes an icing on the Rangers and play stop. Saturday night on MSG. Rangers homestand continues. The Stahl brothers are coming to town. Eric, Jordan, the Hurricanes. Live coverage gets underway. Visa Rangers game night at 6.30. Rangers and the Carolina Hurricanes Saturday night on MSG Network. We got to have a parent sighting that That's night, right. too, don't we? That's right. Got to look for Henry and his wife. And see if there's a stall family gathering. Mark will have to entertain them all. We should try and get Bobby Orr here as well. I know he was in town the other day. Starting his new book, but he's also the agent ah, yeah. for all the stalls. Represents the whole family. That's good clients and a pretty good agent. I'd say. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> Boy, it's great to see Hagman back in the lineup. Almost. He has skated an awful lot over the last month or so. But just unable to make any contact. His shoulder surgery was much more serious actually than Ryan Callahan's. That's why it took him longer to get back in the uh, lineup. I shouldn't say much more, but just say more serious. And it was good to see Ryan Callahan working this morning. Here's... Mark penalty it up the, the boards. And a penalty upcoming, a tripping call. First penalty on the Rangers, Michael Delzato will go. Gergen Sones did a, a real nice job. He's the highest drafted Latvian in their history. And Gergen Sones gets in there, stops, controls the puck. He's a strong kid, just keeps moving with it. And eventually, Delzato with the trip takes him down. Buffalo Sabres have 10 first round picks in their lineup. Actually, nine with Zadorov not in. But uh, eight of those. Ten first rounders are their own picks. Two they've acquired in deals. And Gergensons was one of two first rounders in 2012. Gerenko the other. 
Puck around the boards. Buffalo's first power play of the game. Delzato for tripping at 18 minutes. Molson tried to center with his block. Molson, the dangerous man. We talked about his power play abilities. Five power play goals as a New York Islander. And always a threat. Jamie McBain for Buffalo. Rangers have Taylor Pyatt and Carl Haglin on with Mark Stahl and Anton Strawman. Watson offside Buffalo. Bolton was saying this morning that he had had, didn't have any contract talks at all with, with the Islanders, and he'll be an unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. One of the tough things that perhaps doesn't get enough attention, Joe, here's a guy, his wife just had uh, gave birth to yes. a baby three weeks ago, Let baby boy, their second child, and he's got to leave. Right. And they've got to move. They're going it's to tough. move from yeah. Long Island to Connecticut. Right. It's a tough, the tough thing you go through as a player, yeah. but it's, you know, it's, it's part of the, part of the deal, part of the territory. Steve Ott. Sends it in. 40 seconds to go. First period. Rangers 1-0 lead. Billy Leno. Battling Mark Stahl. They both go down. Zuccarello trying to move it. Blocked by Ott. Zuccarello around the boards. And a good play by Mark Pesic to keep it in. Here's Ott. Out to Tyler Myers. Now Pesic. To Myers for the one-timer save. Good save. On a hard shot. Leno's pass. A giveaway to Zuccarello. And his first clearing attempt was blocked by Felino, and then he cleared it on the second try. Five seconds to go in the first period. And it's been a good first period for the Rangers. Nice play by Taylor Pyatt on the takeaway. The power play for Buffalo and the first period come to an end. A good first period for the Rangers. A power play goal by Derek Broussard. A 1-0 lead end of one. Now Henrik Lundqvist had to be alert the first minute and a half of this game. And he was as Buffalo came out. And they put some early pressure on. The Rangers made a couple of early defensive mistakes. But after that, the Rangers had 15 consecutive shots. And the, most of the play was in the Buffalo zone. Let's go down to Al Troutwig in the game side studio. Al, what's coming up? Sam, it's the Delta intermission report as the Rangers exit behind me. I always love to know what defensemen think of at the end of a period to decide how well or how well they're not playing. We'll find out with him. He's obviously been playing well in an improved Ranger defense. Bill Pito has the MSG 150 as the Knicks get set to take on the Chicago Bulls. And finally, Ron Duguay will be here to break down what he has seen through the first period. Obviously, it could be a lot more than one nothing. But thanks to Ryan Miller, that's where the Sabres are. Rangers won. Sabres nothing. The Delta Intermission Report begins now. The New York Rangers Intermission Report is presented by Delta. Delta's new Terminal 4 at JFK is now open. Delta, keep climbing. We are back at beautiful Madison Square Garden. Getting set for the second period. Rangers and Buffalo Sabres. New York Rangers hockey is presented by Chase. Alan Ron talked about Derek Stepan, Joe, and uh, certainly it looks like his game is coming along now. That was a good first period by him. He was excellent on faceoffs, winning 9 of 11. He had three shots on goal. His line had a total of seven shots, which is a good thing. And he played uh, more than anybody else. He, he played 10 minutes and 31 seconds of that first period. So, you know, he, he just, I, I thought against the Islanders, Sam, that he did some things that he hadn't done prior to that. This game, you know, he's, he's smiling a little bit. Maybe he's loosening up a little bit, which I think he needs to do. I mean, we've seen a lot of him right at practice, and he's, he's walking around like he's got the weight of the world on him. Yeah. And he's got he's to gotta loosen up. And Ron made a good point about, you know, just... You know, coach is telling him when he was going through difficult times, relax, everything will be okay. It's easy, it's easy to say it. You know, it's another thing for the recipient to actually be able to get himself to the point where he believes it. The only way you believe it is when you finally yeah, score. That's right. And Matt Zuccarello was saying the same thing just a, a couple of days ago. He said, you start thinking like you're a bad player. You know, like you can't play the game anymore because you're not getting any results. And Ron was talking about Matt's being upbeat and all that energy. 
That's because mom's here All with right. a good home cooking. That's right. That's why he's, yeah. things are going good. He's feeling good and strong well, and you know healthy. What, though? It's Halloween. Maybe it's really not his mom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's something that just looks like her. <laughs> Step on. Check there by passing. Shot by Zuccarello. Save. A rebound. Save. And a penalty upcoming on Buffalo. The late penalty called. Rangers have the puck. Good pass. Quick shot saved by Miller on Stepan. Stepan again. It's taken away. Rangers get an early power play. 32 seconds into the second period on a hooking call on Christian Erhoff. Now, Chris Kreider keeps doing the same types of things. That's leading to his fine play. And one of those is going to the net. He'll get to the net. He'll read it. Watch number 20. There he is. He gets the rebound. That stops. And then he's got a chance for one more rebound. And Erhoff takes a real good penalty because watch the net he would have had. Oh, and Erhoff pulls him down. So Chris Kreider, by going to the net, draws the penalty. Third Rangers power play. One for two. They win the faceoff. Broussard, Pouliot, and JT Miller. Miller with a puck. They're up front. Delzato and John work the points. Here's John Moore. Now Delzato. Broussard to JT Miller. Miller waiting, trying to get it to Broussard, who's knocked away. Miller tries to regain control, he does. Broussard's got it now, Miller's in front. Delzato moving. Here's Broussard. Delzato to Broussard. That was a pass for Pouliot, went all the way through. Pouliot to Broussard. Forced back, Delzato to Broussard. Cross to Moore for the drive, saved by... Ryan Miller and he holds it. Buffalo's a little bit more aggressive on this penalty kill with their two high players than they were in the first period. They're trying to put a little bit more pressure on the Rangers than they did before. Here you see it again. Now, instead of staying back, they're going to the man with the puck. Moore with the hard shot, but no one in front of Ryan Miller. With a minute 10 to go in the power play, step on Kreider. And Zuccarello come on with McDonough and Richards. And Brad Richards to step on. Kreider is in front of Brian Miller. And the puck taken away and brought down by Johan Larson. Larson moves in with a shot deflected away by Ryan McDonough. Larson goes down. Johan Larson is one of those number one draft picks you were talking about, Sam. They acquired him in the Jason Commonville mm. deal last year. They got him from uh, the Minnesota Wild. And the pick of Zadaroff also came in that deal, I believe. I think the draft pick that they got that turned into Zadaroff, I'll check it, okay. I think so. There's a shot deflected up into the netting. Short-handed shot by Gergensons. Rangers with 26 seconds to go on the power play. See the Rangers at the fully transformed Madison Square Garden. New York Rangers 2013-2014 individual game tickets are on sale now. The Blue Shirts host the Carolina Hurricanes this Saturday night for great seats. Be sure to visit NewYorkRangers.com. Emil Holtra just signed a contract with Carolina. Maybe he'll be here. I hope so. Great guy who's had a nice career. Sat out most of last season because of the eye injury he had suffered. Back pass to Delzato. Broussard. That pass tipped by Cody McCormick. And the power play is over. Good penalty kill by Buffalo. And out of the penalty box, Erhoff with the pass behind him. Lundquist plays it back into the corner. Got to wait for the puck to come across the goal line. He's outside the trapezoid. Rangers with a 1-0 lead. A chance to widen that lead, but... Ryan Miller has made some big saves in this game. Tyler Myers with another hard shot. Good save by Lundquist. Boy, when that big guy puts that body behind that yeah. shot, woo. Sam, he said, he said this morning he feels good about his game. He's adopted a new strategy for preparing for games where he spends 10 minutes. And he just kind of, he, he doesn't exactly... Uh, he just kind of thinks about what he's supposed to do when he starts with the defensive zone, then the neutral zone, then the offensive zone. How about Cordy McCormick here? Puts that puck right through the legs of Broussard and then gets a shot. That was a shorthanded chance. Real good effort. And there's Tyler Myers. 
So he said by doing that, it helps him really focus on the defensive side of the game, which is an area that he's really struggled with. Take away by Haglin, slides it through the crease, and the Sabres have it back. Steve Ott moves out with it. Steve Ott will be the captain for the remainder of the season. He and Thomas Vanek were sharing that role. Vanek at home, Ott on the road. And now that Vanek is a member of the Islanders, it's all Ott. Mm. Ristolainen. Pressured there by Boyle, who took it away. Pass tipped to Dorset. Boyle's got it. The shot blocked by Ristolainen. And Marcus Polino sends it out. Marcus's dad, Mike, an assistant coach with the New Jersey Devils and a former Buffalo Sabres star, is here at the game to see his yeah. son play. Mike was moving yesterday into a new place and called his son for a little bit of help. His son didn't want to return no. his call. <laughs> I think I'll pass on yeah, it, Dad. I can't wait to see you after the game. <laughs> I got to rest up. That's lifted out by Strawman. Linder back to get it. Pressured by Brad Richards. And Rich Linder sends it in. Lundquist settles it for Girardi. Puck goes by Tyler Myers. Richards after it against Myers. Good effort by Brad Richards. Belinder helps out. It's blocked by Girardi. And the flex pops in the air. Played out of the zone by Cody Hodgson to Tyler Ennis. Now Matt Bolson leaves it for Ennis. Ennis for the back pass. It was deflected out of the zone. Good defensive work by the Rangers. And that's Dan Girardi. We've seen that recently. His stick work has been excellent. Rangers have held the Sabres to only nine shots on goal thus far in the game. Rangers have 23. But it's only a one-nothing game. Exactly what I was thinking. That's what Ryan Miller can do. We got to keep getting shots. There's Ristolainen. Up ahead, Gergensons. And that's deflected by Delzato off the glass. Back pass. Gergen Sones again, that's wide. Lively rebound played by Stepan. And he's able to clear it out of the zone. 5.45 gone by here in the second period. Rangers with a 1-0 lead. First period power play goal by Derek Broussard. Ryan Flynn spins, pass into the middle. And the Rangers did a good job taking down Grigorenko. Back the other way, three on two. Broussard left it there for Stahl. Back to Broussard, saved by Miller. Oh, beautiful give and go. That was J.T. Miller, I believe, on that rush on the left side. Gave the pass to Broussard. Beautiful give and go. Miller to Broussard and a save. First team since 1996 to dress four teenagers in a game. Gergensons, Grigorenko, Ristolainen, and Zadorov. Zadorov not dressed in this game. First round pick. He's only part 18. of that deal. Yeah. He's oh, only 18. He's that's drafted. right. Uh, that's two. Two 19-year-olds. Grigorenko and Gergenson. Zadorov is 18. Ristolainen is 19. Dang. Quick shot that went by. And we were talking to Ron Ralston, the coach. And he was telling us this morning he relies on the, the veterans, the veteran committee that he's yeah. put together to help with these youngsters. And they said, you know, they said they've been really good, including Ryan Miller. Now, Ryan Miller knows he's going to be gone at some point. He's got eight teams. That, yeah. uh, he gives the team a list every July 1st of eight teams that he will not uh, accept the trade to. He says there's a lot of people that think they know who those eight teams are. That he will that he will accept the trade. No, that he will not. He won't, oh, eight that he won't go to? Right. Oh. Eight, eight that he will not oh, I go I thought to. it was only eight that he would. No. Okay. That's tipped by Delzato. Missed by Stahl. Taken away by Haglund. Haglund moves in. Pass that went through. And Ryan Miller steered it away. Good job by Haglund. Stole the puck from Ott and turned it into a scoring chance. But when Hagelin's in the lineup, you see the quickness ah, that the Rangers So have. fast. Puck batted down by Pesic. 
would be a hand pass if Steve Ott touches it. Delzato's looking. Ott's waiting for help, and now it's whistled out for a faceoff. John Moore being tended to on the Rangers bench. My medical trainer, Jim Ramsey. Jim Ramsey's been busy for about five minutes with John Moore. John Moore in front. He's trying to clear it. I don't know if he, his own man got him or one of, one of the sabers, but that, that is a mess. It make me uh, look pretty for Halloween. <laughs> That's Ooh. right. You want to dress up and look like John Moore? You have yeah, to do a, that. A couple of cotton. Let me look like John Moore with a broken nose. Oh, man. It looked like Taylor Pyatt accidentally That's bumped him with the too, shoulder. Man. Yeah. Mark Stahl swings it around for Brandon Mashinter. Mashinter with Boyle. And Dorset, Boyle and Astrid. There's the line in checking him. Now McBain good hit by Dorset. And the Rangers keep it in on a nice effort along the boards by Mark Stahl, who shoots save by Miller, and he holds it. Mark Stahl made a real good play. To keep the puck in the zone, turned into a scoring chance. Mark Stahl is you know, slowly trying to get his game back together. I know one thing, he'll look at that plus minus of his and as good of a defensive player as he has been in his career, right from right from the early years. And he's still a young man. And that, that minus 11 that he came into this game with is not simple with him. Oh. Strawman with a wrist shot blocked in front and Stepan just couldn't tee up a shot. Reversed by Flynn for Myers. Off the boards and out of the zone. Eight and a half minutes into the second period. Rangers a 1-0 lead. That long pass for Brian Flynn. Strawman goes back. Icing whistled against the Buffalo Sabres. Saturday night following Hockey Night Live. Don't miss an exclusive sit-down with a great one. Wayne Gretzky talks with Fran Healy on an all-new Hall of Fame presented by Haker. Saturday night at 10.30 on MSG Network. Well, Moore is back on the ice. Grant Healy told us about sitting down with Wayne Gretzky. He said he spent the day with him. He said he couldn't believe how great he was. I said, well. <laughs> that's why they call him the great that's one. That's one of the reasons. <laughs> that's great on and off the ice. Richards controlling the puck and circling, but his shot was blocked. That pass missed connection. Take it back. Pouliot shoots. Saved by Miller. Oh, Rangers getting chances. And here's the point that Anton Strawman talked about with Al between periods where they can't get frustrated. They're getting right. a lot of good oh, chances. Oh, they are. And Tyler Myers got caught in between a little bit. He's number 57 in front of the net. Now, here's another turnover. Rangers good on the four check. Steal the puck. And there's Myers. Wasn't sure whether to go to the man or play the puck. Pouliot eventually gets the shot. And Miller again. That's a good scoring chance, and Ryan Miller has been very steady. He has faced 27 shots, and we still have half the game remaining. All the way down, icing on Buffalo. Shots are 27 to 10 in favor of the Rangers. And because of Ryan Miller's great goaltending, the game remains 1-0. Ryan Miller telling us this morning, he hopes he has some good games to impress the USA staff. Oh, yeah. He wants to be on that U.S. Olympic team. Well, he was he was the starter the last time around in Vancouver when they lost the gold medal game, and he was excellent throughout. So you know he wants to give that another whirl. If they're watching this one, I think uh, this will impress some people. For sure. All the way down, Taylor Pyatt gets there. Sabres able to move down Billy Leno. Check from behind. Coughed it up. Stall. Strawman. Lead for Pyatt. He's offside. Left the line too soon. Ten minutes, ten seconds remaining in the second period. Rangers with a one nothing lead. John Moore getting a little more attention. From Jim Ramsey. Seems to be okay. He doesn't. He doesn't have a real pleasant look on his face, you know. He's kind of in some discomfort. Could have 
trouble breathing here. Right. <laughs> but he's right back on the ice. Yeah. Oh, these hockey players are amazing. And there's Elaine Vigneault. I mean, he looks up at the scoreboard and sees the shots 27 to 10 and then goes up one more line and sees the score of one nothing. And that's not a real comforting uh, score at this point with the way his team's playing. McBain. Pass tipped deep into the Ranger zone. Delzato swings around to John Moore. Dominic Moore out seven to ten days, upper body injury, injured in the game on Long Island. Late in the second, first, first period. Right? Yeah, right at the end of the first period, got hit by Casey Sezikis. Puck lost by John Moore, brought the other way, and sent in by Polino. Polino hit by Madsinger. A little pushing and shoving. There's Dorset. Closing it against McBain, the long shot. Miller saw it all the way, made the save. 9-19 to go. Second period, Rangers leading, 1-0. It's not a Halloween mask. Our that's, Cadillac trivia that, 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 that's the great Jill Villamure. And one of those original masks yeah. that will be on that show. Uh, behind the mask, coming up on MSG Network, the great Jill Villamure. Well, you're right, boy. Those did not protect much, right? right. Yeah. I mean, nowadays they absorb so much of the uh, the shock. Goaltenders, they don't get hurt. Stepan Kreider and Zuccarello on for the Rangers. Face-off win by Stepan. He's had a good night on draws. Here's Kreider trying to bank it in off Miller, who is hugging the post. Girardi for Zuccarello, double team behind the net, and take away by Talinder. Up the board, Girardi keeps it in deep. Now Tyler Myers. Question now will be, what will give first? Rangers continue to keep the puck in the Buffalo zone. Can they crack Ryan Miller? There's a lead for Kreider. Richards to the net, pass to Zuccarello, save Miller, rebound, score! Chris Kreider! And the Rangers lead two to nothing. Now Kreider is working so hard defensively and without the puck. And this time he makes a defensive play near his own blue line. Here it comes, intercepted with his skate. Or pardon me, he gets the pass after the turnover and then he'll just fire it in off of Miller from a bad angle. Initial shot by Zuccarello and then from behind the goal line is Chris Kreider. Smart play. Fires it right at Ryan Miller. Gets the deflection and the bank shot. 2 nothing. And nothing Miller could do about that one. Kreider with his second goal of the season. Goals in two consecutive games and that's a big one. Rangers open it up to 2 0 as they get rewarded for their good efforts. I mean, they have really made some good plays. They have skated well. There's a chance in front of a big save by Lundquist on Gergensons. That was a big chance by the 19 year old sentiment. Now, Gergensons was telling us this morning that he's been getting some chances, but just hasn't finished. Ryder gets the goal from Zuccarello and McDonough at 11-21. Yeah, pardon me, that was McDonough that made the defensive play with his skate. We talked about him in the open about how his game has really risen. So he makes a defensive play and ends up getting an assist. You talk about Olympic prospects, you have to put Brian McDonough right at the top of the list. I'll put him on that team. Broussard with the takeaway, and he's able to clear it out of the zone. 7.55 to go in the second, 2-0 Rangers. Taylor Pyatt in effort against Drew Stafford, and works it loose. Ristolainen checks Pyatt. Pyatt stays with it. Good effort by Taylor Pyatt. John Moore, who shot blocked by Polino. J.T. Miller, trying to get it to Delzato, 
Ott with a lead for Drew Stafford. And John Moore able to hustle back and break it up. Nice to be able to skate. That was a breakaway all the way until Moore caught him. That shot. Miller makes the save at the top of the crease and holds it with 7.21 to go here in the second period. Rangers with a 2-0 lead. New York Rangers hockey brought to you in part by Lenox Hill Hospital, the official hospital of the New York Rangers. What a big goal. It almost allows it to breathe a little yeah. bit, doesn't it? Been a good effort again for the Rangers. Skating well. Face-off win by Boyle. Shot by Strawman was blocked by Larson. Johan Larson moves down. Good pass to Cody McCormick. And that was tipped by Mark Stahl. And up into the netting it goes stopping play. 7-12 to go here in the second. Rangers 32 shots. And Buffalo 11. Mark Stahl, you know, you mentioned the that minus number, but in talking with Coach Elaine Vigneault, he said no excuses. Coach. You know, oh, he doesn't. That's that's the stall way, isn't it? They don't uh, they don't look for excuses. He knows he's he's got to be better, and he's working on that. Sometimes, you know, Sam, when things aren't going well, you, you you tend to be passive with your game. You don't want to get caught. You don't want to be out of position, so you stop being aggressive. And I think part of that is in his game right now. Good effort by Boyle. The shot was deflected away. Myers with a pass to McCormick. Leads Larson. Larson and Stallman after it. Stall knocked it loose. Dorset try to play it. Dorset with a good effort to get it out of the zone. The lead for Brandon Machinter. Just change it up. Kessick, who played 19 games with the Sabres last season. So officially a rookie. And he's up there full time now with the Sabres. Dan Buffalo has given up 43 goals this season. Mark Kessick, the rookie, has been on the ice for just four. That's how good he's been. He's playing good. over 20 minutes a game. Ryder with another good shot. Miller made the save. Kessick was able to move it. Erhoff's pass was stopped by Kreider. Here comes Stepan. Kreider to the net. Saved by Miller. No rebound here. Rangers again. Quick transition in the neutral zone. Good shot. Kreider with the goal that made it 2 0. Our Telestrator look is brought to you by Coke Zero. Sam, we're going to take a look at the, at the second goal. And as, as we run this play, as it gets going, remember, it's one nothing at this point. The Rangers are changing. But if we stop it here, there you see the puck carrier here. Now, the Rangers, look at all five of them, are in perfect position. When you're a defenseman and you've got everyone back like that, it allows you to stand up. Over here is McDonough. Stands up with the blue line, kicks it forward. Now the Rangers go on the counterattack and score the second goal. Grab an ice cold Coke Zero, real Coca-Cola taste, but with zero calories. Yes, it's possible. Haglund behind the net. Ristolainen comes away with it for Buffalo. Rangers with a 2-0 lead, 5.25 to go. Second period. McBain from the Carolina Hurricane lost it. Haglund gave it back to Steve Ott, and then Haglund recovered and blocked it away. Moore and Delzato. As John Moore winds up. Big drive and a save by Miller. Bouliot able to get it to Haglund. Haglund for Brad Richards. Hit by Ristolainen. Richards comes away with a puck. Haglund hit by Ristolainen. Went down. He's a big, strong 19-year-old. He played in the Finnish League for the last two seasons, so he played against men. Yes. And he plays like that. Ott with a good setup save by Lundqvist. Hard shot by Grigorenko. Grigorenko's got some skill, but still learning. Odd man rush here. Three on two, Buffalo. Ryan Flynn tries to stuff it in. Two saves, maybe three by Lundqvist. And then the whistle stopped wide. 
Might have been a quick whistle Might benefiting the Rangers. Now Delzato stick handles and loses it. And Flynn comes back and has a lot of patience. One shot, two shots, another one. Lundquist tries to find it and the and the whistle blows. And the Rangers were in good position and Delzato just he overhandled it in his own end. Buffalo steals the puck and turns it into a pretty good scoring chance. Excellent scoring chance for that man. One for stays sharp, came up with a couple of really important saves. Grigorenko on the draw. Kalinder playing it to Flynn, shot blocked in front. And the Rangers move out, Broussard. Kalinder back court, Taylor Pyatt right on him. Now Sam, when, you, when you're playing as well as the Rangers are playing, and dominating a game. Don't make any high risk plays. Shot by JT Miller. Ryan Miller makes the save. Dig it, dig it, dig it. I agree. There's no, there's no need for it. You're dominating in every area of the game. The only thing that's going to put you in a tough position if you make a high risk play that leads to a goal by in, in, you know, an inferior team. Strawman. Now JT Miller carries it in against Kalinder. Dropped it back for Broussard. Miller for Broussard on that give and go. Shot by Mark Stahl, block. Stahl's got it again. Hit the outside of the net. Played by Cody Hodgson, 3.20 to go in the second. Nice move by Hodgson. Made a couple of nice moves, and Mark Stahl poked it away. And Bolson. Stahl picks him up. Pesic winding it deep. Stallman. Lost it. It was taken away by Hodgson. The Rangers recover and clear it out. Fine Boyle. Offside. Dorsett was trying to hold the blue line while Boyle stick handled but couldn't do it. Before they made it here, they had to make it back home. Tuesday night, beginnings presented by Melrose Credit Union returns for an all-new season. It all starts with the Knicks, Raymond Felton. Follow his journey on beginnings Tuesday night following Knicks basketball on MSG Network. Nice start to the season last night for the Knicks with a win over the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh boy, how about that game? They were up by 25 at the half, fell behind in the second half. Stepan moves in. He shoots save. Did that go off the mask of Miller? I think. I heard a pop. It sounded like it went went off something and I thought I see the mask they gonna in deep that was intercepted good play by Airhoff Girardi shot blocked by Pesic and again this line in the offensive zone they have really made things happen Ryder around for McDonough's in deep step on lets it go to Kreider double team and there's a Corello Girardi to McDonough. Cross ice to Zuccarello. Toward the net. Wide. Looking for deflection. That's a pass that was deflected in front and cleared out by Pesic. Stepan must feel like there's a piece of 4 by 6 plywood <laughs> across the net. Ryder winds up. Big drive and a save by Miller. Bounces down in the corner. Rangers have had 38 shots. And we still have a minute and a half to go in the second period. Their season high is 40 in the game in Detroit, which was an overtime game. Through Stafford, rode down Strawman. Long shot save by Lundquist. That Strawman's was a hurting. tough chance. Strawman's hurting. Aglin moves in. And that pass went through. Strawman very slow to get to the bench. Aglin again. Got Pouliot in front, didn't see him. Richards took a hit. Haglin keeping it alive. Last Under a minute to go, second period. Rangers a 2 0 lead. And then pressing for more of the Sabres, able to break it up and come out three on two. Steve Ott. Pass across. Big chance by Stafford. Save. Rebound. Save by Lundquist as he stopped Jamie McBain on the rebound. Oh. Huge saves by Lundqvist. Still a 2 nothing game. A late goal by Buffalo could have turned them. The momentum of this game around well, big time. Yeah, they've had a, a few pretty good chances in, in this second period. None better than that one. 
Jurgen Sones had it taken away by Delzato. McDonough swings it up the boards. Sent in by JT Miller. Played the other way by Talinder to Tyler Myers. Final seconds of the period. And that's it. Another good period for the Rangers. Henrik Lundqvist really good when he had to be. And he was tested in that second period. Came up with some big saves. Chris Kreider and that entire line uh, with Zuccarello and Stepan outstanding. And Kreider gets the goal that gave the Rangers a 2-0 lead. Rangers head for the locker room. We head to the game side studio. To Al Troutwig, Al, what's coming up? Oh, Sam, I'm going to talk to Matt Zuccarello, and this is Daniel from Brooklyn. Can you guess who he is today for Halloween? Think about that for a moment. We've got Bill Pito in the MSG 150, plus Ron Duguay will join me to break down the second period. And why are you dressed like Ron Duguay, Daniel? Because of the girls. Exactly. Well, there you go. That was Ron Duguay for Halloween. Thank you, Daniel. It's the New York Lottery Intermission Report, and it's coming right up. The New York Rangers Intermission Report is presented by the New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. Copyrighted telecast is authorized and the rights granted by Madison Square Garden solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any publications, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of Madison Square Garden is prohibited. Happy Halloween! And we welcome you back to Madison Square Garden, the New York Rangers hockey, as always, presented by Chase. Getting set for the third period, Rangers and Buffalo Sabres. Elaine Vigneault's team has kept up a steady pace in this game, Joe. Yeah, they have. Their forecheck has really been excellent. Uh, he probably thought in that second period that they gave Buffalo a, a few too many quality scoring chances. Lundquist, uh, who was not busy in period number one, uh, had some real good saves in the second period. First of four straight home games for the Rangers. Stefan Kreider, Zuccarello, McDonough and Girardi for the Rangers. McDonough knocked it away from Cody Hodgson. Hodgson knocked the stick out of the hands of Zuccarello. Mark is kept in by Tyler Ennis. Here's Mark Pesic moving it ahead to Ennis. Back to Pesic. Done. And Kreider able to bring it out. Tries to lead Stepan. And it's whistled down from icing on the Rangers. That top line that we talked about of Stepan, Kreider, and Zuccarello. Man, they have had the puck and done something with it. Yeah, they sure have. Look at, look at the shots. Both sides. Those are uh, season high in shots for each player individually in a total of 17. By that line, and Stepan also on faceoffs has been dominant. Ryder with a goal. Stepan has not had a point in the game. Zuccarello with an assist. Matt Zuccarello now with points in three of the last four games. Referee over at the official scorer's table checking something out. Opening minute, third period. Girardi plays it off the glass. Carolina here, Saturday night. Jeff Skinner will not play. That's right. Put on the IR. Right? Leading their team in scoring. You mentioned earlier, uh, Joe, just signed Manny Malhotra. Let's see if he joins the team. And Rick DiPietro might even get a shot because their top two goalies are out uh, as well. He's playing. Did he play last night? He's playing back to back last night and tonight, I believe, for their American Hockey okay. League. So he's on a he's on a tryout. I understand that uh, he did lose the game last night. Okay. I don't know how he played, but uh, they've got a few injuries as well. Carolina. I, I hope he makes it back. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I like Rick and uh, hopefully he can yeah. get his game together and get back in the league. You know league. what, I give, I give him credit. They're paying him an awful lot of money not to play anymore, and he decided to try and get himself in tip-top condition and give it another goal. 
Gergensons with a dump in. Lundqvist plays it away. Stopped there by Grigorenko. Now Gergensons. Latvian born center. Knocked away from him. Haglund knocks it down with a glove and kicks it out of the zone. How about his mother and father? They found out he made the team. Their first game for Buffalo was in Detroit. His mother and father flying over from Latvia. Everything was fine until they got delayed. Missed the game and he scored his oh. first NHL goal that night. Lozado. Set it Detroit Metro. They couldn't get into Detroit they Metro. Couldn't get in. Uh oh. JT Miller moves in and shoots. Save a big rebound. Was knocked away from Brassard. Back the other way. Brassard gets back to waving the things up three on three. And then Billy Leno. Nice play by Brassard. Hyatt. The Buffalo zone. And Erhoff takes over. Rangers a 2 0 lead. Brassard a power play goal in the first period. Chris Kreider an even strength goal in the second. Stall and Strawman. Strawman okay. Shaking up a little bit late in the second period. There's Billy Leno moving in with Cody Hodgson. And it's tipped wide. Hodgson fires to the side of the net. And Olsen on the four check with a good play. Plays it back to the point man, Kalinder. Leno, checked by Strawman. Hodgson missed it, and Brad Richards goes to get it. Olsen. Buffalo coming out with a little more aggressive play here. And a good start to the period. They put some pressure on. The Rangers have done a good job keeping them to the outside. Here's Myers, long shot into the chest of Henrik Lundqvist, and he holds it. 3.25 gone by, third period. Rangers a 2-0 lead. Experience blue shirt action in a suite at Madison Square Garden this season. Drive new business, engage current clients, and celebrate family occasions. A limited number of single night suites are available now. Visit NewYorkRangers.com or call 212-465-6771 to reserve yours today. Dan, when Dallas played in Buffalo the other day, there's a chance for Kreider. He didn't get it cleanly and it went wide. Go ahead, Joe. It was 4-1 halfway through the second period for Dallas, and they had to hang on to win 4-3. So this Buffalo team, they, they work. I mean, they'll, they'll keep going. Now, as we were talking with Ron Ralston this morning, and he's saying there's ups and downs with these youngsters. Yeah. So many teenagers that you talked about in the lineup. When they're good, they've got some skill. And they're going to keep playing them in important yeah. situations so that they learn. Girardi takes over. But as we've seen with the Edmonton Oilers, you know, you know when you rebuild, it doesn't always go as quickly as you think. Erhoff. Doesn't mean it won't with Buffalo, but it just, you know, sometimes it takes these kids a long time to develop. They get there if you, if you keep them all together. Right. Here's a lead to Pouliot and a shot high and wide. Moore keeps it in. That's wide of the net off the end boards. Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Colorado, to name a few, that yeah. went through those rebuilds and drafted high for a number of years. Jurgensos to Grigorenko. The pass back was blocked by Delzato. Five minutes gone by in the third. That's an odd man rush. Rangers got to make sure that they tighten up. Flynn for Gergensons, but it went past him. Delzano able to move it up. Flynn has it back. A good play by Mark Stahl. Excuse me, that was J.T. Miller. Second time I've confused the two. J.T. Miller with a couple of good plays in this game. Hustling plays. And there he is in after the buck on the forecheck. Roughed up a little bit by Tyler Myers. Kalinder plays it out. Tyler Ennis against McDonough. 
Molson, Broussard on him. And the Rangers do a good job in the defensive zone. The puck brought out by Miller. Soft dumping into the Buffalo end. Ristolainen fires around the boards. 6-10 gone by in the third. Donna moves across, takes it deep, fires, and Ryan Miller in good position. Bain for Ristolainen. Puck rolling all the way down, but I say he waved off. Mark Stahl is there. Trying to take it away from Steve Otte. did up the board. Stopped by Fessick. Deflection just wide. Ott in deep with a nice deflection. Ott was tripped up on the play. Wondered why there wasn't a call. Yeah, he was upset. Back the other way. Haglund shot is tipped away by Mark Fessick. Haglund playing it back for Stahl. Now Dorset behind the net. Checked by Erhoff. By the way, Sam Pesic was on the ice for the first Ranger goal, so he's been on for five goals of the 43. Still, Still a not bad good number. for a rookie. <laughs> and that's real good. Left in by Erhoff, but it went over the glass into the crowd. Play stops. 715 gone by. Third period. Rangers leading Ron Ralston Sabres. Richard's upcoming schedule is brought to you by Lexus, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Rangers. Saturday night, Carolina Hurricanes here. Monday night, the Anaheim Ducks. That's a 7.30 p.m. start on MSG. Wednesday night, we will not be with you. That game will be on NBC Sports Network and ESPN Radio in New York. You know Rangers and Penguins. You know who's disappointed they're not going to be here, and we're disappointed as well Monday? Tamu Solani. That's Remember, right. he told us out in California how anxious he was to get yeah. back and play one more time at the Garden because he's retiring, and he got hit with a, with a stick, 40 stitches, oral surgery, out for a couple yeah. of, at least a couple of weeks. It's, it's too bad. Tamu, come visit us. Right. <laughs> we have room for you yeah. up here. We'll take you for a liquid lunch. Zuccarello, that pass behind Kreider, waited and tipped it into the zone. Chases against Myers. Stefan was hit. Myers knocked it away to Billy Leno. Kreider. Hit by Myers. Stefan able to play it in the zone. Myers. Myers is one of those players, Joe, that uh, you're just kind of waiting for him to blossom to yeah. one of those dominant players on the ice. And you know who has blossomed under Ron Ralston, uh, Sam, has been J.T. Miller. And he played for Ron Ralston for two years for the National Development Program in Ann Arbor. And, and he told me this morning if it wasn't for Ron Ralston and Chad Cassidy, who was his assistant coach, there's no chance he would be here. He behaved so poorly that... Stuff in try by Pouliot was stopped by Ryan Miller. Go ahead, Joe. And he stayed with him. They just, they wouldn't give up on the kid. He was, he was poor in school. He was causing a problem. Seven times he was a healthy scratch. When they didn't have extra players, he was a healthy scratch. A little rambunctious, was it? Was, but yeah. he, you know, he, he said they just, they stayed with me and, and kept giving me a chance. So that's why I'm here. High praise. Elzato stops it. And there's no doubt Ron Ralston is doing a lot of teaching with these young players that he has now as well. <laughs> Maybe more than he wants. Got a lot of teaching to do. Some good people on the bench with him. Joe Sacco, the former head coach of the Colorado Avalanche, now the system. Right. Haglund had to go off his stick. And it's intercepted by Gregorenko. And you saw. Earlier, he was talking to his assistant, Ron Walton, was talking to Teppo Newman, who was a great player in the NHL for so many years. Well, he was underrated, wasn't he? Yes. He was a solid, solid defenseman. Off the skates of Hyatt, fans trying to get into it with a let's go Rangers chant. Coming down to the midway point of this third period, Rangers with a 2-0 lead. Puck deflected to Hodgson, good save. 
And Ennis couldn't tee up a clean shot on the rebound. Oh, that's that shot that Hodgson yeah, was mentioning how he's worked on his shot. He was able to get that shot off quickly with velocity. Rangers have 42 shots on goal, a season high. Buffalo with 22 shots on goal. Puck was knocked down with a high stick by Brad Richards, touched up by Derek Dorsett. And the whistle stops play for a faceoff. 10.02 to go. Third period. Rangers leading 2 to nothing. First period power play goal by Derek Broussard. Second period goal by Chris Kreider. Now Richards out on a line with playing left wing with Boyle in the middle. And Dorset on the right side. Placing Mashinter on the uh, that line. Deep through Stafford. Boyle ties him up. Stafford keeps it alive. Molino gave it away. You know what I think? I just, I just don't think they want to they want to take a chance or a mistake. In deep, quick shot. Good hustle by Derek Dorsett. Got there. And Miller made another save. 2-0 Rangers. 9.39 to go. Team recap is brought to you by Tri Honda. Derek Brassard's second goal of the season. A power play goal in the first period. Chris Kreider with goals in two consecutive games. And Henrik Lundqvist has stopped all 22 Buffalo shots on goal. Look at that video board. That is a sight to behold. If you come to the Garden, you will just be astounded at that video board. I'd like to have a picture that clear in your yeah. basement. That is something else. Almost bigger than my whole house. <laughs> Marcus Bellino drops it back to Jamie McBain. McBain fires it out. That's intercepted. And hot. Hook down Zuccarello. Nothing was called on the play. Kreider just continues to hit. He hit McBain down in the corner. Came back. Runs into Ott outside the blue line. And we said it right at the top, Joe. He is noticeable in virtually every game. He comes together. Another one of the Sabres on his way to the bench. Molino, long shot, hard but wide of the net. Pouliot had it knocked away. Steve Ott makes a good move. Drops it back. Marcus Molino checked by Pouliot. Good job by Benoit Pouliot. Broke up a scoring chance. Molino tied up there by John Moore. Linda, the defenseman, skating in deep. Molino pass off the skate of Flynn. Rangers clear it out. Eight and a half minutes to go. Racing in is Haglund. Saved by Miller. Oh, Haglund just shifted gears and burst in. 44 shots on goal for the Rangers in the game. Flynn tied up along the boards by Haglund. Richards is there. And out to the puck, Henrik Kalinder leading Brian Flynn. Stall and Flynn go after it. Stall in there to play it. Ooh. Oh boy. That was a big hit by Gergenson. He, he does that. On Pouliot. Pouliot hurting as he makes his way back to the bench. That's a big strapping 19 year old. Who used his size well. Coming up, it's the Foxwoods Final Five. Foxwoods, your destination for endless excitement. I think Gergensen's also got hurt on that play. Yeah, here he comes. This kid is a, he is a workout fanatic. Lifts weights, just never stops working. His coaches in the last few years have had to get him to just try to slow down a little bit. Such a hard work. That's all you want to do is be an NHL player. Marty moving it. Sabres trying to pick up the pressure here. Pesic winding it in deep. Played there by JT Miller. Uh, Girardi with McDonough. Hey, Sam, you know what he learned under was Jimmy Montgomery, the former oh, NHL sure. player, coached him for two years and really brought him along. He's now the head coach at the University of Denver. Sard takes over. 
Did he coach in the USHL for a while? Yeah, Joe? three years he coached there. Won a couple of championships and he's done a great job. Aglin fires, just missed by Dorset. Shot through, saved with a right hand by Miller. Broussard had it knocked away by Erhoff, and here comes Cody Hodgson. Hodgson moves off, moves in three on two, and that's blocked by Strollman. Another shot by McBain, to save by Lundquist. Sabres trying to find a way to score. This time Lundquist coming up big again. Now the Rangers gave up an odd man rush three on two. And they had a chance to get another shot that passed up a real good opportunity. Chance for Henrik. Henrik. Ristolainen, the defenseman, in deep after the puck. Polino is there. Ristolainen against Mark Stahl. Dorset goes over, chops at it against McBain. Brian Boyle picks it up, gets it out of the zone. Under six minutes to go, third period. Rangers with a 2 0 lead. under pressure reversed it knocked away by Larson and a nice recovery by Strollman there's Kreider with Zuccarello Zuccarello in deep against Kalinder Kalinder with a good defensive play and he's stopped by Kreider Kreider behind the net back out to John Moore down to Stepan Stepan checked by Polino and now Kalinder double teams him no. Puts it in the corner. Good job by Kreider against Drew Stafford. Stefan with a long shot that's gloved by Miller and he holds it. 5-10 to go. Third period. Rangers 46 shots on goal. The turning point of the game is brought to you by Lexus, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Rangers. That, Joe? That Stefan line's been skating and look at the play that Stefan makes. Draws the penalty. And then Delzano, real nice job to bring everyone to him. Throws it back the other side to Broussard. Power play goal. That made it 1 nothing, And that might be all the Rangers will have needed if they can play this last five minutes and 10 seconds in solid defensive style. Richards against Hodgson. And Tyler Ennis, a win of the puck. Stopped by McDonough in the neutral zone. Erhoff and Richards on him. Aglin got a piece of that fast. Shot by Ennis to flex to the corner. Hodgson is there. Good job by Richards. Now Matt Olson finds an open man, Pesic, and that went off the side of the net. And up the boards by Girardi. Brought out by Benoit Puglia. Essex and Haglund tied up. Out comes Cody Hodgson with 4.20 remaining in his third period. And there's the header by Lundquist on the long shot from center. Hendrick Lundquist didn't want to reach up with the glove. He just headed it up into the netting. Let's go down between the benches to John Gino. John. Well, Sam, during that last television timeout, Elaine Vigneault's message to his team, which he continues to preach to them during this play here in the last five minutes, is finish off this game, boys, at both ends of the ice. And he's been very vocal when the Rangers gain the red line. He just yells deep, deep. They send it in. He gets a line change. Thanks, John. Strollman. Off the glass. Kept in by Gregorenko, and the save was made by Lundqvist. Boyle takes a hit from Ristolainen, but cleared it out. McBain, quiet pressuring him. Here's Flynn, under four minutes to go in the third. Rangers with a 2-0 lead. 46 shots on goal for the Rangers, 25 for the Sabres. Move it, and you're watching the Foxwoods Final Five. Foxwoods, your destination for endless excitement. Visit foxwoods.com now. Tyler Myers, Pouliot on him. Shot deflected by John Moore up into the netting and out of play. 
Maybe this is a sign that Henrik Lundqvist is feeling good about, <laughs> That's right. about himself and his game, right? Is that one? No problem. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, he, but he, he has he, no fear. He doesn't like to put that glove up around his eyes. One so, thing about, go ahead, Joe. Yeah, so that's what he does. One thing about the Rangers game, they've not gotten themselves into trouble by taking penalties. Just one penalty in the game. Buffalo 0 for 1 on the power play. That shot deflected wide. Rangers 1 for 3. Tyler Myers gave it up. Oh, Boyle tried to bring it out, but it hit the big skate of Tyler Myers. Three minutes to go. Again, for St. Ben's Rangers post game coming up. That puck flex out of play up into the netting. A complete post game coverage. John Chino will be talking with the player of the game. He'll work the locker room. Now the Rangers move on from this. Get ready for Carolina on Saturday night. Anaheim on Monday. The Pittsburgh team, they won a big game last night against the Bruins. Terrific hockey game in Pittsburgh, 3-2. A quick trip to Columbus and back home for games against Florida and New Jersey. Tyler Ennis, Matt Molson. Fires it in the corner. Molson back to retrieve it. Airhoff with a big drive that missed the net. Stefan couldn't clear. Shot by Pesic. Saved by Lundquist. Finds the puck and covers up. Boy, Lundquist has been sharp. He has found the puck through traffic when he's had to. Now, he's been very good. Again, he the first minute and a half of the game, he had to be sharp. And then went a long stretch without seeing any pucks. But he has kept his focus throughout this game. And even during those stretches where he didn't get much work. Was very good in the second period, and again here in the third. Ryan Miller has gone to the bench for an extra skater. Sabres dead is empty. They are down by two. Marstall trying to find it in front. Good play by Richards in good defensive position. Rangers lifted clear, and Mark Pesic back to get it with two minutes to go. In the third period, the Rangers leading two to nothing. Ryan Boyle goes out there, he wins a faceoff, and then comes off. Well, he's been excellent. Bouillon with a steal, sends it deep. Was off balance, so he couldn't get a shot toward the net. I think he wanted to pass it too. I think he was being unselfish. As part of that. Rangers have Richards, Bouillon, and Haglin on here. With Stahl and Strollman, and a minute and a half to go. Erhoff fires it in. Hot. Bumps with Mark Stahl. Strollman's pass deflected away. Felino with a shot save. Beautiful glove save by Henrik Lundqvist. Good play by Billy Leno. He'll lift the stick, I believe, of Dorset. As this puck comes around, Dorset ends up with it. Billy Leno makes a defensive play against him. And Felino is able to corral the loose puck, turn and fire all in one motion. And Lundqvist was quick with his catching glove to make the save. Don't forget Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame coming up next. The timeout has been called. We've got full postgame coverage with highlights, analysis, and interviews. We'll hear from the head coach, Alain Vigneault. Stay tuned for Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame coming up next. Coaching on both sides continues. Of course, the key is for the Rangers to try and win a faceoff. It will be to the right of Henrik Lundqvist. Ryan Miller played a strong game. He was yep. he was really good. Rangers got 46 shots on goal. Henrik Lundqvist uh, looks like he is whatever was bothering him. And the injury that he had was not disclosed. But uh, he's passed it. He is. He played well against Montreal in yep. the loss. And it's 20 to go. Sabres six skaters on. Jamie McBain, the shot blocked. And out of the zone, Dorset, who was on at the end of the game on Long Island. Here he is on again. They really value his defensive play. 
Airhoff to McBain. Boyle goes to him. Under a minute to go. Airhoff again. Now McBain fires across. The shot deflected. And up into the netting. Dorsett it again. Dorsett? Yeah. Yes. Real good play. Hodgson had plenty of time when he received the pass. And, and Dorsett went straight to him. Took his time. Dorsett gets over there and goes right off the right arm. Nice block. And now the Rangers are using their timeout. 51.9 seconds remaining. Timeout. They face Rangers. off in the Rangers zone. And Elaine Vigneault with a look to rest these players. And old yeah. Samuelson, who runs the defense, gets right in there. And yeah. he's done an excellent job. You know, the other thing that Ophi did there, as soon as they called the timeout, he called... Um, he called Dorset, who's a forward. Even though he runs, he, he called Dorset over to have a short conversation with him as well. You can see all these coaches involved in all aspects of the game. Elaine Vigneault gives gives them plenty of room to coach. And why wouldn't you? They both have you know plenty of experience. Yeah, you're right. Face-off win by Steve Ott. McBain moving, plays it back. Hodgson winds up. Save by Lundquist. He covers up. Again, good positioning. Quick reaction when the puck dropped down. 45.4 seconds remaining. Uh, and uh, Stepan's upset with himself because he lost the face. Now, that was deflected. It hit the leg of Ennis. And Lundquist able to fight that one off. Right around the boards. Now, oh, Dan Girardi just got hurt. Oh, boy. Down along the end board, shaking up. Save made by Lundquist. Girardi hurting, was able to clear it out. Now he's just shaking it off and staying on the ice. Damn, he was off balance when he went down, and Tyler Ennis landed right on his head, and they went into the boards with his head between the boards and Tyler Ennis. Beautiful moves by McDonough. Down the ice it goes, just wide of the empty net, and it's whistled down for an icing. The and line, yeah. Girardi get in the middle of things. I think maybe Girardi said something. Mm. And Dorsett jumps right in there, which he always does. This is the most heated this has been. You're right. You're right. Girardi went to clear it and was off balance and got knocked down. And I believe it was Tyler Ennis, 63, that landed on top of him. And they slid into the boards. There it comes again. See, down he goes, and then Tyler Ennis. And you see his head, and Girardi goes into the boards with Tyler Ennis on top of him and was slow to get up, stayed on the ice. With the icing, the Rangers can't make a change, so Girardi stays on with McDonough. And he's still having words with Steve Ott, who's one of the great yappers this game has ever seen. Uh, the Rangers apparently upset with the icing call here, Joe. But now they got over but, the goal line. It seemed like they yeah. it before they could play. Well, they had to wait to see if it would go in the empty net. And then when it didn't, they whistled it down for the icing. And here's another icing here with 7.6 remaining. So that means Dorset and Ott will probably line up against one another. No, this time Ott's going to take the face off. He's trying to get it straight back to Hodson, 19. Rangers trying for their second win in the row. Is one back by Boyle. Here's McDonough up the boards. And this one is over. The Rangers and Henrik Lundqvist shut out the Buffalo Sabres 2 to nothing. 47th career shutout for Henrik Lundqvist, his second of the season, and for the Rangers, two wins in a row, three wins in their last four, and only eight goals given up in their last five games. No, no, defensively they've been good, but the key to this game was having a good start. They, they came out in that first period. Buffalo had been terrible in first periods this, this year, and the Rangers knew that. And after giving up the first three shots of the, of the game, they came back with the next 15, and it was in Buffalo zone, and so that's really what got them going, and eventually they were able to get to Ryan Miller, who played well.
Rangers gather at center ice to salute the crowd. A good night, their first home ice win of the season. And what a good feeling in the beautiful, fully transformed Madison Square Garden is building a beautiful site in the Rangers. And Elaine Vigneault talked about it today, wanting to make this a tough place to play sure. for opposing teams. Well, and it starts with having the ability to shut teams down and play better defensive hockey. And they, you know, it's getting there. Certainly much better than it was the first six or six or so games. They just look like they've got more of a clue in their own zone. They're doing a much better job. Our three stars of the game brought to you by your Mercedes-Benz Tri-State dealers. Visit on the web at searchmercedes.com. Chris Kreider with a goal. Chris, come out and take a bow. There we go. They found him. There you go. Have to do that on home ice. He scored a goal. He's got goals in two straight games. Every game he's been good, right? Number two star, the goaltender, Henrik Lundqvist. With a solid performance, 29 saves, 23 in the last two periods. You get this shutout and you're only the number two star? <laughs> Well, they like this man. They like Al's guy. Al talked to him between periods. Yeah. They like Mats. Mats is feeling it. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, it's deserving. He was real good against the Islanders since he was moved back up. And that line was, was tremendous tonight. They were dominating. That feels good, doesn't it, Henrik? Rangers win it. Their fifth win of the season. They shut out the Sabres. Two to nothing. We'll be right back.